Hello and welcome to another episode of Chainmail the Podcast, aka Chainmail the Podcast. How are you? How's the family? How's the pets? Hope everyone is doing well. Welcome to this spooktacular, ew, this, <laughs> this spooky, this ghoulish, this demonic episode of Chainmail the Podcast. Welcome to the pod. So, it is 9.23, Friday night. I am making this demonic episode for you guys. Today, you're hearing it on Halloween, because it's Halloween. Who doesn't love Halloween? Well, I know people who don't like Halloween, but just go with the flow. Who doesn't love Halloween? Yeah, woohoo! Ah. <clears throat> um all right so halloween it's halloween happy happy halloween happy halloween ooh, 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 ooh. be safe if you're going trick-or-treating please wear your mask incorporate your mask into your costume if you have not be safe out there guys uh, trick-or-treating should not have an age limit on it but we're not going to get into that anyone should be able to trick-or-treat If my grandmother wants to go out and trigger me, my grandma can go out and trigger me. You hear me? Yeah. 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 I'm going to make a subdivision of people where only adults can come trick or treat. 18 and up, you could trick or treat in my neighborhood. The little kids have all the other places. People be shaming adults for trying to trick or treat. Shut up. We all want free candy. You know you want free candy. That's why you're hoping you don't get a lot of kids coming through your door so you can keep some of that candy. Yeah, yeah, I see you, Bethany. I see you. In your overly decorated yard. Yes. Anyways. And I I, 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 I always hated. I always hated. The ladies, well, not ladies. The people that would put their candy out and then and then put a sign like take one please and they would have a little microphone and they'd be sitting in the window right and right behind it'd be like only one kids what is wrong with you if you're gonna sit behind the window come outside god those people made everybody mad everyone but what really made me mad is when they would put the candy out that said take one and they really wouldn't be watching and they would just hope every one would take one and then somebody would take the whole thing and I would get really sad when I go up there hoping to take the whole thing and the whole thing was already taken like why would you do that why would you take all that person's stuff like that you are so wrong why would you do that now you need to go put it back so somebody else can take it all gosh selfish selfish people You should be ashamed of yourself. Halloween. October 31st. Halloween. Halloween is such a strange holiday, in a sense. It's so weird to me. Because it's so much stigma behind it, but it's also such a joyful holiday not like christmas joyful but joyful kids find a lot of fun and entertainment in halloween but halloween is nice don't you think free candy you get to dress up as something you're really excited to dress up as and be a whole different person for a few hours or the whole day depending on what your plans are or even the whole week some people have halloween parties and stuff before halloween even is there you know what i mean Super cool. Want to do that one day. But uh, yeah, I remember when I was in school learning about what Halloween meant. I was really sad. I don't know why. I was hoping it would be something demonic and stuff. And I would, I, I could be all cool. Like, I participate in this demon holiday. Ah. But people already think it's a demon holiday. Whatever. Uh, don't think about it that way. The devil will be out on halloween so you can't go trick-or-treating i hated those people 
let me go get free candy. Are you going to buy me some so I don't cry when I get to school and everybody makes fun of me for not trick-or-treating? No, that's what I thought. So let me go trick-or-treating, Brooklyn. God. Um, Halloween is Halloween's cool. It's not my favorite holiday, but it is a, it is a nice little runner-up. You know what I mean? All the good holidays are at the end of the year. Uh, Halloween is a start. It's like a Halloween. Okay, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Halloween is like the the uh the 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 pickup. It's like the beginning. It's it's the chill beginning. Halloween is pretty chill. You just get to have fun, you know. And then Thanksgiving, you gotta stick the good in the middle. That is the peak. Thanksgiving is the best holiday. It's my favorite, not because of the food. I actually really don't like Thanksgiving food. I can't eat that much. I don't like it. It all starts to taste the same after a little while. I don't really like Thanksgiving food. But it's just being around family. That's when all of my family comes together, literally. Not even Christmas. They don't really come together for Christmas. Thanksgiving is where it's at. We all get to see each other. I love it. I love Thanksgiving, even though I just say hey and mind my own business to say to myself but I still love it and then Christmas is like the 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 cool down it's really chill it's not as fun as Halloween in a sense it's it's a different kind of fun it's a fun that's like this is a time to just mellow out and chill no stress no worries we're just having a good time at the end of the year you know I don't consider New Year's to be an end of the year holiday it's a beginning of the year holiday. Ah, get it? <laughs> that was ugly. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Um, me and my family love Halloween, though. My, my, me and my little sister, I mean, me and my, my siblings, we would plan our costumes months in advance. I mean, like, March, our, our costumes would be planned and would be in the process of making them. Yeah. That, I, but now that I no longer live around my siblings and I have a full-time job, you know, I just, I don't know, man. I just can't, I'm, I can't celebrate Halloween this year. Technically, I have to work a 10-hour shift tomorrow. But I do have plans after to just have a good time still haven't figured out my costume though so that's what i'm gonna do when i finish this um yeah and so give me some ideas <laughs> even though well no yes give me some ideas because i'm gonna be posting this at i don't know if i want to post it at two or three yet so whatever so i'll check it i'll check your suggestions on break while I'm on break at work, which is around two or three, and then and and then I will decide when I get home from work at seven thirty. But I I kind of know what I want to be. Okay, in the past I've been some super cool people. Just kidding. I only remember a few. Um, last year, what was I last year? I don't remember. Dude, what was I for Halloween last year? Oh, I was a Day of the Dead um, skull. I was a Day of the Dead character. Had this really nice flowy dress and did my did my makeup all cool and stuff. Super fun. Um, and then the year before, the year before that, I, I don't remember. Like I said, Halloween is just the pickup. But I remember one year I couldn't wear a costume. Because I had just got out of cheer practice when I went to go trick or treat. I think either it was cheer practice or I just got home from like an extracurricular activity after school. So I didn't have time to go home and get dressed. So I was wearing my regular school clothes and people were like, um, what are you supposed to be? And I was like, I'm a black Barbie. Eh, just kidding. I didn't even dress up. <laughs> but that was my excuse. I would just say, I'm a black Barbie. So cringe, so corny, I know, but whatever. And then one year, I was Jake from State Farm. <sighs> I was, I loved that costume. 
I was so, so happy to be wearing that costume. And I thought I was so clever. And then nobody, nobody read my shirt that said, hello, my name is Jake from State Farm. Nobody read it. So they just kept asking. And I was like, dude, they said you know, my shirt. And I even have the khakis on. And the, and, and, the, and the shirt says State Farm on it. Come on. Come on, man. How much more obvious could I be? Like, I... It would be a literal clone. It looked like that cloned that man. And and ima- imagine the, the literal man from Jake from State... The Jake from State Farm commercial walking up to your door. You, uh, you asking him, who are you supposed to be? Are you blind? Are you dumb? Use your eyes, lady! God! But yeah, I really don't know what I want to be for Halloween this year. I might do something. I really wanted to be Claudine, but I didn't have time to prepare for that costume. Um, Here, let's look at some pictures, Claudine, and see if I got some stuff since I'm in my closet. Um, Have some platforms, Avi. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Ooh, not me getting stressed out in my head okay okay ah see look i'm starting to freak out a little bit platforms a leather jacket i don't own anything purple though that's a problem so i'm just not gonna be claudine yeah i I own nothing purple i might be something something boring to be honest like um a tennis player or flapper girl or something freaking runway model or something i don't know might just put on some messed up clothes and say i'm a zombie do my makeup all cool and stuff you know oh whatever um um might do something like that 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 might be what i do because i want to dress up and i want to take pictures and i want to Post them on Instagram, even though I'm gonna get home when it's dark outside. So what? So, mama freaking what? Um, yeah. So give me some ideas, dude. I don't. I really don't know what to be following. I'm literally gonna get on port pit port pit port port pit port pit pit port pit 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 Dude, dude. But yeah, gonna probably go to a Halloween party that my uncle is throwing after work. Um, take some cool Instagram pictures with some random people that I don't know because I don't have friends. Super fun, super cool, super trendy. You already know. I might just dress up as how I want to dress. Because growing up in, like, a super small town, I I feel my prettiest when I'm wearing, like, dark, grungy makeup. But in my city, people would have looked at me like I was a complete and utter fool. And I feel like maybe I should just do my makeup the way I want to do my makeup, put on a nice fit, and... Do it like that. I don't know. Who knows, man? Who knows? I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Um, Let's talk about the creepy part of Halloween. Someone gave me this idea in the beginning of October. And it was only right that I do it on Halloween. Let's talk about some spooky stuff. Some spooky, scary stories. Story time. <laughs> that was the sound of the owls in the trees. You can hear the fire cracking because we're sitting around a campfire. And then that was the sound of the flashlight coming on, shining onto my face. So, here's a story about the little witch. I'm kidding. Uh, they wanted me to talk about some spooky, scary stories. Some, some, some scary paranormal things that have happened to me. And if I'm being quite honest, 
I don't have a lot. Don't even remember if I've had any, to be honest. But I do know a few. So, my mother has the sixth scent. Sixth sense. Um, she can hear when spirits speak to her. She can feel when they're around. She can see them. You know, super cool. And it was always so fascinating to me growing up. And I could never do that. Um, until one day. <laughs> I have a brother that passed away. That is... I have a brother that is not living. And he is my guardian angel. My mom tells me all the time, like, your brother is always with you. Da, 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 da. And growing up, I always knew that I had a guardian angel. But I never knew because I never knew about my brother. Um, but growing up, I got more accustomed to the idea of like a spirit being around me at all times and things like that. And I always wanted to have that sense that my mother has that it's just like, oh, I want to be able to talk to my brother. I want to be able to speak to my brother. I want to be able to hear him speak to me. I want to be able to see him like he's here. And after a while, I got I still feel like he's here even without being able to see him and speak to him and hear him and all that stuff. And then, okay, so growing up, it was pretty much I never saw him. I never heard him, anything like that. But I would I would talk to him regardless if I could, <laughs> knew if he could hear me, knew if he could, it was even around me at the time. I would just talk to him all the time. And uh when I started getting older like in my teens like 17 18 like recent uh, I started being able to feel when he's around me and I would talk to him all the time and I remember one time I was doing something I don't remember what happened but I did something I wasn't supposed to to be honest and like he was around me I felt that I felt that he was around me and I did something. I don't remember what it was. And all of a sudden, I just heard, I'm telling mom. <laughs> and I took off running to my mom. And I was like, don't listen to him. He's a liar. I didn't do anything. And, da, da, da. and we were like playing a, a game. I probably sound so stupid right now. And people are probably like, oh, she's talking to demons. But it was it was super cool. But I don't think I registered that I heard him say that until now, just then, uh, kind of cool. But the first time that I remember, the first time that it hit me right then, I knew that when I turned 18, I would be out on my own, not living with my mother anymore and all that stuff, that my brother was going to be more heavily involved in my life as my guardian angel, because it's just me and him, and he has to watch over me, make sure I don't do anything stupid, you know? And I remember one night I was in bed, and I can I can see him sometimes. I can see like his shadows and stuff like that, but I can't really straight up see him like my mother can. But one night I was I was half asleep. I was drifting. That's usually when I I can hear him and see him, but I was drifting. I was not really asleep. And all of a sudden, I see a shadow sit next to my bed. I mean, I'm terrified because I, by myself, horrified. I'm thinking, God, there's a demon in here. I <laughs> need to call my mom, da da da, da whatever. Because I have a little uh, stool next to my bed. So I see him sit down, and I'm, I'm like, frozen. I'm like, maybe I don't move. And all of a sudden, I hear, hey. And I freaked out. I jumped up, and I was like, no way. No way. You did not just speak to me, dude. And I started crying and all that stuff. So weird, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I I really have a really strong connection with my brother. Even though he is not alive, uh, I have a strong connection with his spirit and stuff like that. And that's why I'm so big on spirits and your guardian angels and your spirit guides and the people that you keep around you and all that kind of stuff um but yeah I don't really have any scary paranormal things because I choose not to keep energy around me when that kind of stuff happens uh I can say I've 
this year, I had some bad people around me, and I didn't know that I did. I had some really bad people around me, and I would wake up with open wounds, dude. Open wounds, like bloody wounds. And, And it would happen over and over and over again. I found like two small, small wounds on my arms, and then I got in the shower, and I get under the water and my leg is burning like I stuck it in lava. And I look down and my leg is pouring blood and I have a huge gash on my leg. And I was like, dude, what the heck is going on? So at that point, I knew like I have some bad people in my life and I need to cleanse and get rid of this toxic energy around me. And eventually I did. I've been doing a lot better. I don't wake up with stab wounds on my body, but yeah, that's, I think that's the closest I've gone to like paranormal stuff. A lot of stuff has happened to my mom because she can, she does have that sixth sense, sense, that sixth sense, and she's gotten like locked in the bathroom and like locked out of the house and really crazy stuff happens to her all the time in terms of spirits and and all that stuff but nothing really happens to me I think that's just because I have my brother around me at all times and you know but sorry if that was underwhelming that I've never had spooky scary stuff happen to me but yeah that that's pretty much it it's 10 o'clock now I have to get up for work at 8 um, I'm going to edit this up real quick, figure out what I'm going to be for the Halloween party tomorrow, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Make sure, make sure you wear a mask when you go trick-or-treating. Have fun, get lots of candy, have a good time, be safe, don't let your parents quote-unquote text, test your, your candy. That just means they're going to eat it, okay? Um, Check it yourself. Yeah. Hopefully people still don't do that anymore. That stupid stuff. But whatever. I hope your pumpkins are beautiful. I hope you, you wake up with a tummy ache Sunday morning. Have a great night. Oh, well, it's nighttime here. Have a great spooky day. Um, Can't wait to see everyone's costumes and everyone else having a good trick-or-treating time while I'm at work. And yeah, thanks so much for listening. I'll see you guys next time. Deuce.